Communication with air traffic control involves exchanging safety critical information between pilots and air traffic controllers. Successful communication relies on the use of standard phraseology wherever possible. Effective use of your radio, as well as maintaining a good listening watch, also make for safe and effective communication. Most standard radio transmissions and readbacks are in a format that enable both the pilot and the air traffic controller to relay required information efficiently and effectively. The use of non-standard radio calls or readbacks affects the ability of ATC to understand your intentions and confirm that you have understood your clearance. If your readback is incorrect or incomplete, ATC will need to confirm your understanding, leading to additional conversation, complexity, workload and frequency congestion. This may also impact you or other aircraft by increasing the chances of incorrect information being passed or received. You can check your up to date with the current requirements by reading the AIP Gen 3.4, which details pilot radio call and readback requirements. The components of an ATC transmission that will require a pilot to read back are an ATC route clearance in its entirety and any amendments, any en route holding instructions, any route and holding point specified in a taxi clearance, any clearances, conditional clearances or instructions to hold short of, enter, land on, line up on, wait, take off from, cross, taxi or backtrack on any runway, any approach clearance, an assigned runway, altimeter settings directed to specific aircraft, radio and radio navigation aid frequency instructions, SSR codes or data link logon codes, level, direction of turn and heading and speed instructions. Pilots often fail to read back the taxi holding point if given during a clearance and the runway designator. So remember to lock these ones away in your memory bank. Pilots also often fail to read back a radio frequency change prior to selecting the new frequency. This means that ATC cannot ensure that you've copied the correct frequency and will not know which one you're on if you select an incorrect one. Good RTF discipline. Use standard phraseology whenever possible to prevent misunderstandings. Keep transmissions clear and concise. Think about what you want to say before pressing the button in order to avoid rambling transmissions. Stick to plain English in unusual or emergency situations where non-standard phraseology is necessary. Make sure you're listening on the correct frequency and the radio volume is at a suitable level. If there's a long period of radio silence, do a radio check with ATC to ensure that your radio is correctly tuned and is operating normally. Always listen before broadcasting to make sure no one else is currently using the frequency. And don't transmit if another aircraft is about to transmit a readback. If you're unable to make a call at the required place or time because of frequency congestion, Wait for a pause on the frequency, then give ATC an accurate position report with your intentions. Speak up if you think there's any possibility the transmission has been addressed to or answered by the wrong station. And also speak up if you hear two stations over transmit. There have been some safety occurrences where pilots are unsure whether the tower is active or if CTAF procedures apply. If you are unsure, listen to the ATIS. If the tower is not active, the ATIS will be Information Zulu and will include the time of the activation and the CTAF frequency. A listening watch is vital for the safe conduct of your flight. Make sure you actively listen to all transmissions. Use the information gained from listening to build your situation awareness and to assist you to see and avoid other aircraft. Effective radio communication between pilots and ATC 
is critical to safe operations. In the event of a radio failure, after checking the most likely cause, follow the communication failure procedures detailed in both the emergency procedures and local procedures in URSA. More pilot safety information is available on the Air Services website at bit.ly forward slash pilot safety for short. If you've any questions or you'd like to provide us some feedback, please email us at safetypromotions at airservicesaustralia.com. Thanks for watching. Have a safe flight.